going to look at factorizing quadratics and that's when we take two or three terms and put them into a pair of brackets. The key is to make sure we recognize that we have a quadratic right from the start. So here's three different types of factorization of which only the last is a quadratic. It takes the terms and puts them into two separate brackets. So we have a quadratic and we have a squared term and a purely number term. This has x squared and minus 14, it is a quadratic. This has x squared and minus 13, 36, it is a quadratic, even though it doesn't have an x term in the middle. This one, however, has the x squared but no number term. It is not quadratic. Not enough to have an x squared to make it a quadratic for factorization. This obviously isn't, no x squared, and this is a quadratic, it's just not in the normal order. So, to factorise quadratics, we put them into the order with the squared term first, then the variable term, and finally the number term. So we take an expression like this, and put it into a standard order. Then we find the numbers that add to give the middle term and multiply to give the end one. In this case, we're looking for 15, which is 10 plus 5, 50, which is 10 times 5. So those are the numbers we want, 10 and 5, and we put those into x plus brackets. We factorise our quadratic. If there's a negative, we proceed the same way them into the order, keep the negative with the term it goes with, so in this case the minus stays with the 50 when I rearrange it. We still find the numbers that add to give the middle term, multiply to give the end one, it's just that at least one of them will be negative. In this case, 10 and minus 5 give, add up to 5 and multiply to give minus 50, so we put them into our x plus brackets, it's just that one of the brackets is x minus. We can work out which one's negative. If the end term is negative, then one of the brackets will have a negative. Minus 3 and 7 add up to 4 and multiply to give minus 21. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. Minus 6 times 3 is minus 18. If the middle term is negative, then it means that the larger of the two factor numbers is negative. You have to be careful that the number that you want here is negative, then this number must be bigger than this number. If the end term is positive, but the middle term is negative, we still have negative factors, just this time we will have 2, because minus 2 plus minus 7 equals minus 8, and 1 times 7 is 7. The two negatives cancel out with multiplication. If we have one like this where we have the x squared and the number but no middle term, it's still a quadratic. It's just that the two factors cancel out. Because 81 is 9 times 9. Positive times negative is negative but minus 9 plus 9 is 0, so that cancels out in the middle. When we expand like that, they cancel out, so we get a squared term and a number term and no middle term. When we write out our factorization, the order we put the brackets in does not matter. However, if one of them is a negative, the negative moves with the number it's attached to. We can do this without x's exactly the same way. We have this, it's a quadratic, it's got an x squared and a number term. We rearrange it, we find the two numbers that add to give the middle term, multiply to give the end term, and they become what we put in our brackets. If while we're doing this, we discover that the numbers that we need are the same as they are here, 
is 6 plus 6 is 12, and 6 times 6 is 36. Then we can write it as a square. So we take a quadratic and we have a look for the two terms in our brackets that add to give the middle term and multiply to give the end term. Put them in the order unknown squared, unknown then number. You find the middle ones add and the end ones multiply. We put them into x plus brackets. If one or other of the terms somewhere is negative, then one of our factors will be negative. And it must be careful to keep it with the correct number so that we get the correct middle term. If the brackets are swapped, then the negative stays with whichever number it was attached to.